Today, I'm going to talk about 10 benefits of doing a PhD in the United States. So the first benefit is that if you do a PhD in the US, you get a master's degree along with it. So your master's is like a byproduct along with your PhD and it applies to all fields and you don't have to pay any extra money or anything. So at the end of your PhD, you will get two degrees, your PhD degree as well as a master's degree. And it is the case because in the US, usually undergraduate degrees are four years and people go into PhD right out of undergrad and hence there is this provision of masters and PhD club together. So number two is stipend, yay, so you get money. So almost all PhD programs in the US are funded and you get a monthly stipend ranging from $1,300 to $2,800 depending on the subject you're doing a PhD in, which means that a computer science PhD student might get a different stipend compared to a economics PhD student. Um, the stipend is usually more than enough to survive in the US and if you are frugal um, you can save up and also send money to home. Um, you can also have a family if you are careful enough. So me and my husband we survived on a single PhD salary for almost 1.5 years and I know that people even have kids and they are doing fine with the PhD salary. So it all, at the end, depends how much you spend. Number three, so in the US, you don't have to be in academia only after you do a PhD. Um, there are several other opportunities, meaning you don't have to look for a postdoc or assistant professorship or, a, or some position in a research lab after your PhD. You can move to the industry, meaning you can work for a private company, let's say Walmart. Um, even if you, let's say you enjoy the PhD work and you think that if you work for a company that will go away, that is not true. Uh, my husband is a perfect example for this. Um, he did his PhD in his physics and now he works for a finance company and his day-to-day -day life is very similar to his PhD days. So basically he reads a lot of books, research papers, and he applies mathematical equations, and it's very similar to his PhD. So yeah, if after doing PhD in the US, academia is not the only option, there are several other opportunities. The transition might be a little difficult, but it is definitely doable. Number four, higher starting salary. So if you decide to move to the industry, that means you're joining a company, you will always start at a higher salary compared to a person who did an undergrad or a master's, meaning a computer science PhD student will start at a higher salary than a computer science master's student. Um, the benefit is that, that if you start at a higher salary, it is sometimes easier to climb up the ladder in your career and progress faster. Number five, time to adapt. So what I mean by this is, when you come to do a PhD in the United States, and if you're coming from a dif different country, so you just don't come to do a PhD alone. Yeah. It is a new country. You have to learn the culture, the lifestyle. There are so many new things to grasp. So the PhD gives you the time to explore and adapt. Whereas if you come for a master's, the time is very short to learn all those things. And also if you are doing a PhD, you can have a normal life and you can pursue your hobby like playing sports or going to the gym or even attending family functions back in your home country which will be very difficult if you come for a masters because 
while doing a masters you're trying to learn so many things in such a short span of time number 6 time to look for a job so after your phd whether your next step is looking for a postdoc or joining a company if in your phd you plan your things carefully and your advisor is accommodating enough which most times they are you will have sufficient time to devote your complete attention in looking for a job or looking for a postdoc which will not be the case in a masters program because a masters program is a finite program and you have coursework till the last day and usually in phd programs people usually have jobs in hand and after that they plan their thesis defense after talking with their with their advisors so yeah you'll have time to do that number 7 you'll have enough time to build strong relationships what i mean by this is that because of the duration of the phd you have time to make good friends and develop relationships with your advisors professors and also build a strong professional network which let me tell you is far more important especially in the united states than your degree and this will take you a long way number 8 you can quit your phd and live with a masters degree so in any case during your phd if you are unable to continue it uh you can leave with a masters degree in the subject you were doing your phd in um so although i would say that even to get your masters degree you will have to uh complete certain requirements like let's say you you will have to be enrolled in the program for minimum of one or two years or sometimes three years or and you will have to pass certain exams complete certain courses um this provision was created because sometimes you can have a family emergency or a health condition or you're not able to cope up anymore and then you don't want to do your phd anymore so at that time there this is a way out i would say although i would say that um this is not advisable because then um your relationship with your advisor is not that good and you in later in your life you'll have to defend your reasoning about why you quit your phd so yeah but definitely it is if you come for a phd and at one point you realize that you cannot go on there is definitely a way out which is very common and people do it all the time number 9 the work culture is very professional so your relationship with your advisor your peers will be very professional and you will be only working on your own projects and most times on your own uh this is work which is very good uh usually people are very nice and they will not email you on weekends so things like those are very good Yeah I think it's a good benefit if when you're working in such a nice professional environment um but it also depends on your supervisors but most times people are professional I would say and the last benefit is you'll have the time to master a core skill set so which is very rare in the job market um let me tell you if you come for a masters and you want to join the industry you do not have the time to exactly master a certain core skills or skill that you can say yes i'm i'm excellent in this whereas in phd um you you can do that and employers and companies really value it and there is a demand for certain specialized people um uh, this will also set you apart from the competition you know because you are 
excellent in a certain type of skill set. So yeah, so those were the 10 benefits of doing a PhD in the United States. With that, I come to the end for today's video. Um, I'll make another video, probably my next video on reasons why you should not do a PhD in the United States. Um, stay tuned for more tips and tricks. And uh, if you liked what I shared, please subscribe to my channel and share it with anybody who you think could benefit from it. Happy New Year and hope you have a great year. And yeah, see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much.